throttle close, so all the way out, and just in this touch. Engine start, but yeah, like clear prop, is that where we're at? Yep. Clear prop! We can look around, no one coming, hand on throttle, with what it says. What does it say? Clear prop was under that. Well, close, hand on throttle. Hand on throttle, so you've got to keep your hand on the oh, yeah. okay? Okay. And then start. Now I can hear you, one, two, three. Now you can hear me. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? It's easy to get lost. Yep, so have you have something, yep. Active free. One, two, seven, five, one, two, six, seven, correct. Yep. I'll make a call. Traffic Murray Bridge, Jabiru 5246, taxiing, hang at a whole point, Bravo, Murray Bridge. All good to go? Yep. So that's it, brake off, good. And have your hand on the brake, just in case we need it. And then just use the power to get us going. We need a bit of push to get us rolling. That's it, now steer with your feet. Look out for the wings out that sun, then slow it down, slow it down. That's it. And you don't apply the brakes hard, otherwise it'll burrow in. Ah, oh, yep. And hit the prop, which we don't want to do. Bring the power back if you're going too fast. Stop him there. Good job. Break on. Back to your checklist. Yeah, see that? That's the difference. You can sense that, you felt... Most people just sit there and let it wobble. Ah, uh, run up checks. Right, times four. That one takes a while to cut. It's the temperature it? oil. Takes a while to cut. They're all good. Check mags. On and off at 1800. 100. Just, just as a matter of action, to keep moving on. Eventually the brakes won't hold, so just when you do it, have a look out there, make sure you're not moving. Which we're not, okay, but oh, it, yep. you don't want to creep forward. Mag one off. Light drop, good. Yep, good. And the carby heat, which we'll talk about afterwards, we're going to come back, pull it out. Cut another carby heat. That one there. That's the cabin. Ah, the C? Yep. It'll drop at night. We'll talk about that when we come back, right? Okay. And then we can bring the power back. We've done three things there. Next one says fuel pump on. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. Yep, so next one's the red. Fuel pump. Clear air, left and right. So, well, the best way I can teach you to do it, can I just have the control for a minute? Yep. Don't come too far up on the pad here. Yep. But what if I put my right foot, move it forward? And have a look there, I can see under my wing. Oh, People yeah. come the wrong way. So you've just got to make sure there's no one down there, right? Yep. And the same coming around here to the left, before we get off this pad. And we can sit there, so okay, there's and these bigger planes, the GA planes, quite often sit down the end of the runway. Right. And do run-ups, and you can't go, because they've got the runway. Yep. Two planes can't run the runway at the same time. So we've checked left and right. Okay? Done. Now you can make this call now. And it doesn't matter if you cock it up. Traffic Murray Bridge, Jabiru 5246, entering and backtracking 19. Okay. Wait, doesn't matter. Traffic Murray Bridge, Jabiru 5246, entering and backtracking runway 19. Put that away. Have another good look down there, make sure there's nothing coming. No, there's not. Where we go? Made your first radio call. Good job. <laughs> so now get practice with steering with your feet. Come to the right a bit, just just to give your feet a bit more. Needs a little bit of pressure. You don't want to jab it in because you'll snap the nose well off. But you've just got to learn how much pressure is required. And then you look at the windsock, you see, and you think, well, it's coming across the runway now, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of on an angle. Okay. And if this all gets a bit haywire, just slow down. Yeah. It all starts to pop around a bit. I go to the left, just give you practice. If you're going too fast, rather than use the brake, just bring the power back a touch. And it'll slow down. Now stay on the left for a while. Now go gently across to the right. Stay in the middle for now, that's near enough. So this is 
positions in here, so we're just going to follow that gravel edge around, right, with that left-hand wheel. Roughly, don't have to be on the edge. And you come, put a right foot, right, 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 all the way down. There we go. As long as you go slow, you won't snap the front wheel. Keep coming around, all the way around. So now we're in the middle, well, we can let go of the brake and hold the stick now. Come around even more. So the wind is definitely coming from that side, isn't it? From the left? Yeah. With the windsock? So we're going to make a call and make it now. Traffic Murray Bridge, Jebbery 5246, line of a rolling 19, departure to the south, Murray Bridge. So, we're going to accelerate, and when at 40 knots, we're going to lift the nose, which is off the ground. But it's going to get... It may go left, but then the wind's coming from the left. So we'll come into the middle a bit more. Give us a bit of a wiggle room, then. We how we want to go. And the wind's going to blow us a bit to the right. Yeah. Because of the wind. So ease the power on. Push, 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 and keep your hand just on the throttle. Do a little bit of right foot, a bit of right foot. That's it there. 40 knots, nose will just off the ground. And hold it there. Bit of right foot. And wait. Just wait. Wait. There it goes. We're flying. Now we're going a bit steep, we can push it forward and get a bit of airspeed up. Speed up. Makes sense. Now we're doing 80. We can climb up now. Beautiful. Good job. And we'll go back to where we were before. A bit nicer down there, wasn't it? So at about four or five hundred feet, we can put the flaps up. Got the flap lever there. Remember that one's going to drop, so we bring this back to stop it from dropping. All the way up, flaps all the way up. There we go, feel it drop. Yep. And away we go. So we're going to go straight out again like we did before, so we turn the fuel pump off now. Off. And if the engine were to go bubble bubble in, just turn it back on again, because we know that one's failed, don't we? Ah, yep. That's the backup one. So we can pitch it up for about 80 knots, so speak it up a little bit. And it's warmer now than it was this morning, so it doesn't want to climb as much because the air density's right. thinner now, isn't it? Traffic Murray Bridge, Jabiru, uh, 5246, departing upwind 19, on climb uh, 2500 track south, Murray Bridge. It's a bit of a warm day. When we get to 2000, we'll attitude power trim, fly straight and level for a while and let this cool down. Okay? Look at this. You've got your attitude right. Power back. No, pa attitude power. Do them in that order. Have a tapping tangle. There we go. Find the lens. It's taxing for a whole point now. Pop run up from my bridge. About there. And then trim it to hold where you want the nose. About there somewhere. And we'll just fly along. A chance to cool down. Yeah, it's going to flop around a bit today because of the weather, but you've just got to control it as best you are able. Yeah, so the trick, the trick mainly is to set it with this to get it where you want it to be. Yep, and then adjust the trim minutely just to hold it there for you. That's it. Start to come up a bit. You can't get it perfect, it won't work. Yeah. Even an autopilot today will constantly try and yeah. fix it. Once we leave Murray Bridge, there's a circle around Murray Bridge of about 10 miles, everything's in miles, which is our own frequency for Murray Bridge. Oh, yep. Once we leave there, we've got to go to this standby frequency, out right. which is brawl out here. So we switch that across. So now one, two, six, seven. We're listening out here now. There we are at 
3000, attitude power trim. In the main, you're up here, now you're flying. You know, I, I, do, I didn't do anything. From take off to here. Ah, oh, you're doing a bit on your foot, weren't you? On no, the take off? no. Really? Yeah. You just said more right foot, right foot, right foot. That's all. Do it, climbing a little bit. See, that's it. Just pitch it. Down. Uh, I was on the. That's fine. Thing, and it'll start to come down again. What a beautiful day to fly. Look at it out there. Okay, so we're going to follow the edge of the lake along, along the edge there. So just keep that road that's going around the edge of it, just keep that under your left wing so you can see it. Right, mate. So, comments to you. You're holding your height perfectly. I don't mind 100 feet off over here or there at this stage. You turned, your ball was centered. You've got the throttle set at the right position. This is flying. This is all there is to it. <laughs> it. I mean, you can overthink all this. It really is hard. It is easy to overthink it. My, I don't know why I'm here, mine's more of the spatial awareness, making sure there's another aircraft. I know, for example, there's an airfield over there, which you don't know about, yep. where they're dropping parachutes. Right. So we'll, they're coming down there, so we'll stay away from it, right? But that's what I'm listening to the radio here for. Yep. Okay, we can't enjoy ourselves for too much, can we? So what we talked about before, um, slow flight. Um, somewhere, be somewhere between, um, somewhere between 45 knots and uh, 60 knots is a point at which you'll stop flying. When we're coming to land, we want about 63 knots. That's about, for these, about the right sort of place. And normally we'd have one stage of flap on. Okay? So what we're going to do is I want you to stay at 3,100. And we're going to bring the power back slowly. And as we bring the power back, what's going to happen? No, it's going to go down. Well, the plane's just going to start to sink. Because we're losing lift, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. What's the other way we can get lift? Got velocity and what else? Uh, nah, I forgot. Oh, ah, yeah. And we'll we'll talk about it, the pitch. Okay, that's that's the angle of attack lever. Yep, as I call it, right? So to compensate for the loss of lift, if we take the power away, we're going to keep bringing this back, don't we? Yep. So eventually the nose is going to be pitching up. Yep. But we can go along at that at 60 knots, no problems at all. But to do that, to to, main, to keep some safety, we'll also put one stage of flap out. Right, that'll give us more lift to help us fly slowly, right? Yep. So we're going to try and keep our height. That's, that's the game, if you yep. will. So slowly bring the power back. Just a little bit at a time. And you'll start to see the effect. So as you do that, you'll need to bring the pitch back slowly. Bring the power back more. Actually climbing a little bit, right? That's fine. Bring it back more. Bring it back. Now we're going down, see? Didn't take much power, did it? No. Okay, so we're under 80 now. We can put one stage of flap out. That'll give us some lift. Feel the lift? Yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. So now we're climbing a little bit. So bring the power get back. We want to come back to 60. The power back slowly. Back to about 2,000 revs. There we are. Now we're flying at 60 knots. 120 kilometers an hour we're doing. 110. Really? This is how fast you'd be driving up in your car. Unreal. At 60 knots. Huh. So basically, I, I double and take off 10. Yep. Give you a rough idea where you are. Found a plane. Where? Oh, you're a bit high, that one. Oh. <laughs> so this is relatively dangerous. Right. You know, planes weren't meant to, this was not, it loves to fly at 90 knots. Yep. Not at 60. But what's it doing? Coming down ever so slowly. I just pitch it back a little bit. With the pitching up, we'll do that. We'll slow us down. Now we're flying unaerodynamically, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're still coming down, so we'll pitch it up even more. Then we start to go below 60. 
So we can put a touch of power on, just a touch. In a bit more. There we are there, and it'll hold it there. So we're not going up or keep it the pitch there. We're not going up or down. Watching that speed is fine. We could pitch we can use the you do this as well, you gotta put your hand, left hand down there and give it a bit of trim up. Uh, yeah, it's just about hold us at sixty, not too much. Yeah. Now we're going to be slow, so put a bit of power on, not much. But notice the position of the nose now? Very yeah. different, isn't it? Yeah. So there's a warning. My hand's back here, the engine's quiet, and the nose is up there. We're going to stall. Yeah. That, that's the warning bell. We're not going to do that. But that's what it's going to still look like. Yeah. So, again, because we're going so slow, Waggle the wings left and right just a little bit. Not as responsive, is it? No. Because we haven't got airflow going over the wings. Yeah. Now do the same with the rudder, just gently with your feet. Not too much, does it? No. Not well, too much. No, 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 don't do... No, no sudden movements. That's why I said to be very subtle with it, right? Yeah. So just play with the foot, just left and right. So you get this a better feeling. Yeah. Because now, because we're pitched up like that, exaggerated, with the air from the prop is not going over the tail much anymore. Right. The rudder, it's going over the top of the rudder, not much control. Yep. Interesting lesson. Very interesting. So now, what we're going to keep this position like this. You may need a little bit of power, just depending on what we do. We're not, we're not holding your height perfectly. I want you to do a nice gentle turn. Where's that airfield? Uh, we'll we'll go, go a bit further up yet. Don't want to get too close to them. We're safely away from them, but I don't know why you'd fly this slowly normally, except if you were landing. Yeah. This is what the landing should look like. Right. The nose should be pitched up a little bit. We have control, and we have airspeed. Okay, so nice, while you're holding that pitch like that, a nice, very shallow, gentle turn to the left. Got to watch our speed here. Don't let the nose come down. A nice, gentle turn to the left. Doable. We're climbing a little bit so you can... Very unstable, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And if it gets too much, bring it back again. And also, you've got to keep that ball fairly well centred too. Yeah, that's the one that's really... Well, because you haven't got any control. The yeah. Is, the, nothing's working properly. Yeah, it's efficiently. What's strange is I've nearly been on the right-hand rudder the whole time. That's right. Why is that? Because the plane's got to go left. Yeah. Keep coming to the right. Now we're at 3,000 feet, we've climbed up a little bit, that's okay. This is just an exercise, it's not a matter of, judge, of getting it perfect, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to ease the power on, but we don't want to climb. Right. So power's going to give us lift, isn't it? Yep. So how do we counter that lift? Push the nose down. Correct. So put some power on, just ease it on. There's Attitude it. lever. Yeah, that's it. Power it on. As you do that, put the nose down. Push, push. push. Gain speed, that's fine, we're on a climb, which you're holding it perfectly. Yep. I'll put the flaps up, we're going to fall a little bit, so what happens when we fall? Pull the stick back just a little. Yep, push Feel the nose down, yep. Because that's giving us drag, giving us lift with drag, right? That's it. 80 knots, keep going. Get back up to 2,800, straight and level. How's that? Good. Nice. You're the man. You're the man! <laughs> so you can see that the slower the flight, the mushier it gets. Yeah. And eventually we could keep pulling that stick back and pulling the power back. And one of the wings, we never know which one's going to be, says I can't hold you any longer and it'll drop it. Now initially it'll only just slide off, it doesn't, doesn't roll over. But it will just, one of the wings will just drop a bit. Yeah. If we had power on, It'll drop more severely, like you saw in that video. Yeah. Don't don't try and adjust your pitch right. with that alone. 
Opening the cap, Yankee Houston. November Lima, Diamond Star descending on the dead side of runway 03. Meningi. Okay, so here we are all fat and happy. 2,800 So now I want to come down, where's the ring? Oh, can I go for here? Um, see where the road goes through those dark trees? Yeah, patch of dark trees there, the big main road, the bitumen road. Yeah. Right? See to the right of it, there's two little dams. Yeah? Out to, out I'll to say the, yes. No, 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 say yes. Except there's... Oh, right out! Yeah, yeah right out. out. So I'm looking too so close. I want you to come down and fly over the top of those dams at, uh, what are we, three and a half, at 2,500 feet. Yeah, right So out. I want you to get there and descend and be over the top of them by two and a half thousand feet. Going that way? Yeah, yeah, well, it's the only way you get there. I don't want to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> right, eh? Just think it through. That's what you've got to do. I'm going to drop the power off. Oh, yeah, to come down. And then put the to. nose down. Correct. Well, if you take the power away, the nose will have to come down. How many feet? 2,500. Yep. So we're coming down fairly quickly, which is fine. You bring the power back more, we just glide down. Minky shot there, Yankee November Lima, Diamond Star, setting base for runway zero three, touch and go, Minky. Bring the power all the way back. Yeah, Whiskey Uniform Delta, start gate is open, Wakery. Correction, runway two one, Minky. Well, we were meant to be over the top of it, you came down too early. Oops. <laughs> so now we'll, that often. Uh, so now we're going to be over the top of them at 2,000 feet. Do I keep dropping? I want you over the top of them at 2,000, so you've got to work it out. Ah, right, okay. So it's, uh, it's the judgement thing you're doing, right? That's it. You have to think about it, like... Okay, I'm still, oh, what else can I do? Right, that's what you're doing. That'll lift the nose up. Push the power on, power, power, power. You can get your attitude right. That's it, power, 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 full power. 2,800, sorry, my apologies. Get a bit ahead of you there, but out there. And then trim it to hold it so it doesn't keep coming up. Okay, that's good. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now. That's Salem Beach. That area there, that little town there. So let's um, climb up to 3,500 again. We'll go to 3,000 to start with. Jeez, oh. come on, what are you doing to me? Easy. Right, okay, let's go to 3,000. Yeah, right, right, right. Come over that at 3,000 when you get up there. Attitude, power, trim. Traffic Yankee November Lima turning base for runway 21, touch and go, Minigi. And just to show you how effective the rudder can be, and it's really an intriguing um, process, if we start to do a turn to the left, so I'm in control of it at the moment, right? It's going to be a, it won't be a steep turn, but it'll be a relatively steep turn, right? So if we just come over here quite safe, like so. Right. Now I'm not going to watch him. Look up here. Not going to touch anything. Use your right foot. Gently push it in. Overcorrect it. Brings it up. Yeah. Lifts up the wing. So you've got to use your rudder in all the turns, and you've got to use the stick. Right. And even if you're lifting up a wing, a bit of right rudder will do it. Yep. Opposite rudder. So if I drop it this side, I'll cover it this way. There it is. Use your left foot. shows you this doesn't do everything yeah you've got to use your foot and a lot of pilots have what we call lazy feet yeah and in some aircraft some aircraft use very little rudder these don't these use a lot of rudder a lot so now we're getting back near the murray bridge 
So we switch back to the Murray Bridge frequency, which is this one. And that little button's in the arrows. That switches the between backwards and forwards. So the 1275 will go there now. Yep. Sounds like a good return. Not there yet. <laughs> now you get the hang of it, you got the speed right, you got the ball right. You'll be fine. You you you'll make it. Yes, whichever side tries to rock you, you try to fight it back with your foot nearly, don't you? Well, you and you've got to do it together. Yeah. I oh, just more I forget, like I literally, I do, I have that lazy foot. Yeah, or feet, because it's two of them. You're not too bad on your feet. What a lot of people do with their feet is that they push one in, and of course what's happening is the other one comes out. Which, right. You know, they're, like, they're opposite each other. They're horizontally opposed, effectively. Um, but what they do is they push one in, and then they hold the other one so it doesn't come out. Yeah. So if you, if you tighten up on one, you've got to relax the other. But you've got to be prepared to go either way. This is all, this is all part of your learning. Another few lessons, you won't ever think about that again. They get sucked into the instruments a bit too much as well. Oh yeah, don't look, don't get fixated by them. No way. I mean, you look at yourself and say, oh, I'm at three seven, three thousand seven hundred. I want three thousand five hundred. Just momentarily come down. It takes a while to catch up, so we pull out just before we get there. Ease it up. There we are. And then look out the window, because in the it's more important for you. Ah, that's what I want to see. Good trimming. It's more important for you to be looking outside than inside. Yep. They say about eighty percent outside, twenty percent inside. Yeah, right. That's my rule. Okay. Because you're looking for other aircraft. Yep. That haven't. So now we want to do a turn. I want a one eighty degree turn to the left. And your power setting right, so we're at three thousand six hundred. See if you can keep that. Just a nice general turn to the left. Yes, yeah, so don't fixate on the ball. Just make your turn, then have a look at it. Try that. That's it. So you don't shouldn't have to look at it now. Let it turn itself. Doesn't take much footwork, does it? No. Now straighten it up there. Perfect. Oh, good. But listen to other people's radio calls. Yep. And try and understand what they're doing and saying, therefore, it'll imprint your brain. Yep. Right? Yep. So now we're going to think about turning and coming down. Drop of the nose. Yep. Oh, and no. power back, of course. Traffic Murray Bridge, uh, Jabiru 5246, overhead Murray Bridge Township, 3,300, on descent. Uh, Estimate circuits in uh, five minutes, Murray Bridge. So it's always drop, it's always attitude first, so you're always saying... No, always just take the power away and automatically it's going to nose down, isn't Ah, it? okay. And if you struggle to keep the nose up, you'll, you're going to lose speed. Yeah. So just bring the power back now. So now we can do a right, nice right-hand turn here. We've got 2,000 to go. Bring the power back more. Traffic Murray Bridge, Jabiru 5246, joining on the 45 downwind on 19, Murray Bridge. Power, that's it, ease the power on. What do you want to say? 1,200, that's good, so do a right hand turn now. Don't get any lower. Ease the power gently on. All traffic my bridge, Mike Tango Bravo, line up and rolling, runway 19, all traffic my bridge. So now we've come down a little bit too far, haven't we? So ease the power on and go up. Get a right foot. We need to be at 1,200, so we've got to get up there, don't we? That's it. Okay, so I'll be in control, so it's my aeroplane. The aeroplane. Yeah, but you have your hand on it, you can feel what I'm doing. I'll, I'll talk it out loud, okay? 
we're going to slow it down. We can't set the flaps yet. We're doing going too fast, right? Fuel pump's got to go on for safety. I'll be hit. We're going to talk about it when we get back. We look for the runway there. So there we are at 80 knots. We can set one stage of flap. All oh, right, halfway is one stage. One stage, full, all the way down is full two flap. Full flap or two stages. So now watching speed, 70 knots. I want to keep 70, that's my nice safe turning speed. Sufficient, uh, engine temperatures are green, sufficient fuel trapped in, buttons done up. Traffic Murraybridge, Jeffrey 5246, uh, base 19, full stop Murraybridge. Try and keep 70 along here as best I can. Try and keep it with 70. All traffic, Murray Bridge, Mike Tango Bravo, departing straight out south to Langon Creek, currently at 1,000 feet on climb through to 3,500. All traffic, Murray Bridge. Now we're going to turn to 70 again. Then once we're on final, whoa, once we're on final, we can make power back and it'll just glide itself down now. Lined up with the rubber again. That's not a bad wind either. Crosswind. Not too bad. Have we talked about slow flight? Yeah. We're still doing 75. We're doing 60 out in the training, weren't we? Yeah. But it gets close to the stalling, which we want to stay away from, so I'm just manipulating the speed as best I can on the way down here. Ah, get over the runway then. Six, there's a 60. Five. So we don't hit the fence, so we just use a bit of power to go up again. Watch it for speed again. There we are high now. When the runway goes wide, when I stop the descent, not wide yet. Now it's gone wide, see how it goes wide? Yep. In, in your vision. Ball on the runway. We landed. Hmm. Hopefully you made that look easy, did I? <laughs> There's no jumpy castle up first. No. Fuel pump off if you would, flaps up. Ah, uh, fuel pump. Flaps. <laughs> 